Good evening. I am Dr. Arun Makru, President, Indian Society of Transfusion Medicine and Regional Director, Department of Transfusion Medicine, Meteor Group of Hospital Delhi NCR. I am present today speaking on safe blood transfusion practices in thalassemia. Thalassemia is an inherent blood disorder characterized by decrease in the hemoglobin, which is a red cell pigment and a decrease of which results in anemia in these patients. All thalassemia major patients are blood transfusion dependent and the main aim of the transfusion therapy in thalassemic patients is twofold, to prevent anemia and to maintain sufficient hemoglobin level so as to suppress the endogenous enterprises. Presently, hypertransfusion regime is preferred wherein the mean hemoglobin of these patients maintained at about 12 grams per DL and it has been found to have a couple of the advantages. It helps them to have a normal active life and a good physical development, prevent from freedom from the intercurrent infection, prevent hepatosplenomegaly and prevents them to have ex prevents excess absorption of iron from the gastrointestinal tract. Immediately after diagnosis, it is important that all these patients should be immunized from against the hepatitis B infection. Prior to embarking on transfusion therapy, all these patients should have some baseline investigation for records and reference. These investigations include ABO blood grouping, RH extended and phenotyping and keltyping, screening for irregular antibodies, screening for infectious markers for HIV, Hep B and Hep C. The patient should get registered to a good blood center, having the provision to provide the safe and quality blood from regular, repeat, voluntary, non renewable blood donors. The blood center should be able to provide leukoreduced packed red blood cells, screened for all blood transmissible infection by highly sensitive and specific tests. The blood should also be screened by NAT testing to prevent window period transfusion. But unfortunately, presently only 10 to 15 percent of the blood collected in the country is subjected to this test. The blood should also be issued to the patient after proper compatibility testing includes Combs cross matching. In order to have uniform standards, there is a need to have centralized blood collection and testing so as so that all the patients get quality and safe blood. Thank you.